Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video about um, this idea that has been introduced by Naturally Stephanie and John Venus, um, but more Naturally Stephanie, um, that you need more, more protein to get bigger. And so I went to Portland Veg Fest this weekend and I asked uh, Robert Cheek, um, the head of veganbodybuilding.com, um, what he thinks about what you need to build muscle and get bulky. And so, um, yeah, here's what he said. You're off. All right, so, um, so talking about bulking up, right? Whether there's a need to supplement or not. Should we have a high protein approach? Should we take protein supplements? My answer is emphatic no. Uh, and I say that as a vegan athlete for 20 years, someone who did use supplements for many years, and someone who's been supplement free for the last four years. And here's why. So when we're looking at repairing muscle and, and growing and improving as an athlete, what we want is all the components that come from food. So we want the vitamin uh, count, the mineral count, the antioxidants, fiber, water, all of these things that are found in the, in the whole food. And when we start getting into isolated nutrients and, and taking that, uh, taking supplements and all those things, we actually we fill up on those calories and deprive ourselves from foods that are more nutrient dense, that have higher amounts of antioxidants, higher amounts of nitric oxide, vitamins, minerals, fiber, water, I mean, muscle is 70% water itself. And so, you know, we really need to focus on the whole food approach. And there's actually a, not a need for a high amount of protein at all. I mean, most of us eat a tremendously more protein than we need, whether it's the American average or even the athlete average of 30, 40, 50 percent of our calories coming from protein. We know from science that we only need about five to 10 percent of our calories coming from protein. And even as athletes, in my book Shred It, I talk about a 70, 15, 15 approach, very similar to 80, 10, 10, but it's a 70 percent from complex carbohydrates from whole foods, 15 percent from protein, 15 percent from fat. The important thing though is to understand it's not a certain amount of grams per protein per day or per body weight and all that. It's what's your true what's your true caloric expenditure? What's your intake like? What are your goals? And to eat a, a just a percentage of your calories from these macronutrients. And when you get it from whole foods, you get the whole package. Uh, when we bring in too much protein, this can have adverse effects on the kidneys, liver, bone density, energy levels, and plenty of other uh, negative byproducts, and it's simply unnecessary. And also, very importantly, I think, uh, from a totally different perspective here, I think it's very important as someone, I've been vegan for 20 years now, I think when we want to portray this lifestyle to the, the average viewer, I mean, someone who watches ESPN, hundreds of millions of people who watch football, we don't want to give off this impression that, oh, if you're vegan, you have to take all kinds of supplements. You can't possibly get enough nutrition from real food. If you're vegan, especially a vegan athlete, you've got to take protein powders and all this to bulk up. I put on 23 pounds in the last year, year and a half, and I've been doing this whole food thing for four years now. It, it, it comes down to consistency in the gym, consistency with diet. If you want to bulk up, eating a caloric surplus, but from real foods that don't get stored as fat and that help recover and grow. And the whole food approach is just going to help the, the, the body entirely. So, uh, so that's what I would say. Kind of a long answer, but um, in my opinion, there's no need for isolated nutrients, especially protein, and certainly no need for protein supplementation in order to achieve uh, muscle gain and, and bulk. So uh, just eat whole foods for a, a real whole result. So yeah, the main uh, message that he had was to make sure yet that you are eating enough calories and eating more calories than you burn. And that's pretty much uh, the gist of how to get bigger on a plant-based diet. You don't need all these extra protein powders. Um, Robert's been without protein supplements for about four years now and he's gained like 23 pounds of muscle. And so, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to bring that awareness into the YouTube uh, community. Uh, it's not an attack, it's just I was curious um, to see if there was really truth in the idea that you need all this extra protein. Um, which, according to Robert, you don't. So, thanks for watching. Um, peace.